Hi, I'm Alan Bergman, and this is my wife and Marilyn. collaborator, Alan Bergman. And uh, in February, we'll be married 60 years. 60? <laughs> 60, honey. It's a nice collaboration. In the glider sequence in a movie called The Thomas Crown Affair, uh, we wrote a song called The Windmills of Your Mind. Round like a circle in a spiral, like a wheel. That's one of our favorites. You, you try to uh, appeal to the generation and the next generation. And the, you know, one hopes. Yeah, one hopes. And when it's the truth, when you've found the truth, uh, it, it, it appeals to the heart and the mind as the generations go on, not to just the, the pelvis and the feet, you know. And we said we were not interested in a jukebox musical. We wanted it to be uh, a story, you know, to use. And so we, for two years, we collaborated with Josh uh, about the, how to use that concept. If you build it. They will come. And that road filled with cars and those kids laughing and playing and laying down gorgeous childhood memories. And breaking a couple of very expensive windows. I didn't mind. You didn't have to replace the windows. Uh, we knew that we wanted to have uh, actors who sang, not singers who act. Uh, that was very important. And that's why you have Robert Foster and, and uh, Scott Kredolfa. They're just, they fit, you know, in addition to time. I meant to have the actress singer that time is, of course, is a great inspiration to writers because she's such a fine actress as well as being a singer. From home. And that, that uh, they recognize and see what strength one needs to losing a loved one. And that's what the play is about. <laughs>